Simon Fox is a local Leeds lad. Married, with four children, last September he was diagnosed with a grade 4 brain tumour which at the time was deemed inoperable. He was given three weeks to live. However, 12 months later, he's still with us and there is a light at the end of the tunnel as now it seems there is a new operation which can help save his life and treat the tumour. I met up with his father David and also a close friend Becky to find out a bit more information about the condition, about Simon and how we can help. We've been lucky as a family, we've had bits of adversity but compared to many families we've been jolly lucky um, and of course I suppose you always assume that things will go on in the old sweet way that they've gone on and then suddenly you find that Simon who has suddenly found happiness with a new girl suddenly realised that in fact it, here he is he's found happiness and he's got this terminal disease um, he actually collapsed in his flat in Round Hay and he was found sort of laid in the bathroom um, whipped into hospital, they did a, um, a brain scan on him. Everybody thought he'd had a stroke to start with, but it turned out immediately to, that it was a brain tumour, and quite a big one as well. Uh, and even though I'm terribly conscious of the fact that we have been lucky and other families have a lot more problems than we have, when this happened, it's, it disturbed the equilibrium of all we thought we had. Um, especially when he was told he'd only got weeks. Um, he was also told that if he went six months he was one of only 10%. 90% of brain tumour patients die in the first six months. That was in September 2015. And he's still here in 2016, September. Um, he was told a month ago that um, things were getting to the end of what they could treat and to expect the worst, really. And then suddenly out of the blue, he gets this recommendation to go and visit this guy in uh, Harley Street who looks at all his medical records and all these scans and everything and said, well, I can treat this. We could not believe it. We just could not believe it. So how do you feel, for people watching at home, what are the next steps that you'd, you'd like to encourage people to take to, to help you out with this? Well, we, um, we're trying to do all sorts of fundraising activities. I mean, the cost of this operation is, is pretty heavy. And we've been told it could be as much as 40,000, um, which um, I, think we can, I think we can raise with people's help. Uh, we've got all sorts of things organised. We're, we're having a, um, a, a, an auction night. Um, we've already got things donated like Leeds Rhinos have, have, have given us a, a, a signed shirt, uh, Betty's have given us a, a hamper and so on, there's a, a whole host of them. So we're planning to do that at the beginning of November, probably at the Allerton. With optimism in the air, friends and family are doing absolutely everything they can to help raise the funds to save Simon's life. This is Becky who goes into some of the things that they are doing. It seems that there's a lot of love out there for Simon and people are just bending over backwards coming up with new innovative ways to actually raise these funds yeah. and every day it's getting closer and closer and closer in sight. Wasn't it true that once it's been set up, let us know how much it raised in its first six days? Yeah, so it was launched 10 days ago and we're up to nearly £8,000 already and that's literally just through the GoFundMe page. That's been no events, no activities, just people's generosity. Talk us through then some of the activities that's going to be happening to help fundraise. Right, OK, so the first one we've got is this Sunday, which is a rounders game at Round Hay Park. Got a nice ring to it and it's going to be fancy dress as well. So the theme is TV and movies. And this is open to absolutely anybody who wants to come along yeah. on Sunday? Absolutely anybody. Bring a donation, doesn't matter how big or how small. Uh, get your fancy dress on and come along to Round, uh, Round Hair Park and play around us. We've also got a silent auction. So a lot of companies within Leeds have donated prizes. And the idea is that you can just offer a bid to me um, via Facebook. Um, we've had, oh God, we've had all kinds, loads of different prizes. All, it's a wide range. Yeah, a wide range. A lot of restaurants in Leeds, which has been brilliant. You know, The Alchemist, that's a cool bar. So if you can and you are willing to and you have the funds, then, you know, as we do say, anything can help. The GoFund page, you can see that on our screen now. 
do go and support if you can. And as well, the Rounders event taking place on Sunday. If you're up for a bit of sporting action for a great cause, then why not get yourself down to Round Air Park? And we will be following up over the next weeks in uh, keeping track of Simon because it's only right to peace. <laughs>